he scaled through that period thank god that's what that's how he was able to give us this masterpiece this work of art so he scaled through that period and he made dearest suicide so to talk about suicide and tell you about the book the book yeah the highly anticipated book A beautiful read too so yeah let's get into it okay now suicide as we all know is when someone takes his own life or kills himself for reasons known to them alone like they felt like they were they weren't needed in the world or they had maybe mental breakdown emotional breakdown or they just had something caused a spike in another thing that made it happen. and from year 2020 to 2020 to 22 I feel personally, these are not facts, I'm just just personally, just personally, I felt and I feel the rate of suicide has drastically increased, like, it has become so much now that among teens and young people that normally, it's very scary though, it has drastically increased, so, many people are falling depressed, right? in a world where it feels cool to be depressed, and sometimes, the people that make it feel cool to be depressed marks out those that are actually depressed like a real, the person is actually depressed but because of social media has made it so cool to be depressed now you don't even know who's sad and sad people don't wear they don't wear the sad emoji on their face like i'm sad hey i'm sad they don't do that they don't do that it's, they don't wear the hoodie like the movies project to look like they don't wear the hoodie talking about stuff so in a world where since topics are very shifted and are very hidden, we don't talk about lots of topics, especially in Africa, Nigeria, we don't like talking about suicide. We are just like, get up, do what you have to do and get things done. That is your job. Your job is you're not doing any other thing. Just do what you have to do, what you have to do, do this, do this. You don't have to be happy. You're just meant to take care of your family and continue your, your life. That's how it is in Nigeria. If you have otherwise, I would love to listen to you, but that is definitely how it is in Nigeria. We have lots of people doing things they don't want to do, and if they try to do what they want to do, it's always like, whoa, what are you doing? As I was always projected here in Nigeria, for me, I'm born, yeah. I, will, I, I like talking only about my country because I don't know of other countries in Africa, so I'll stick to my country. So, you know what, that, that is heavily frowned upon. It's heavily, everybody wants to be alpha man everybody wants to be good everyone wants to be bigger than thou so suicide is very prevalent now at this time so i read a book or let me not say i read the book i was no it's not my book it's for pagidi expressions he's a writer and it's called jerry suicide and this sounds like a review when all those sensible writers are reviewing all this or but no I know about the book says but this is just my review i'm just telling you i'm putting it to you guys that it is a lovely read so general suicide was a book written by pagida expression he's a third class he's proudly third class lawyer like he got third class in the, the law in law he's a graduate of i think he's parfemi awolowo oh no 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 olabisi on banjo university and he's a writer most especially on facebook more popular on facebook for pagidi expressions the series their mom are like to and other things he writes it's very good so i read the book the rest of the and i was like wow it was talking about a young man that was after writing a six-year course he had a carryover seven carryovers so he had to go for the seventh year. and at that point he was having issues at home his girlfriend was he was having issues with relation you know <laughs> woman problem <laughs> he had woman problem and at the same time he had stuffs everything was just cut at another point where i think that's not midlife crisis but when you are just transitioning from being when you get into that university stage and everything is just cut i know the nigeria factor as well comes into play where you have to be this you have to be that and also do their own whatever do their own and then we pray the strike is called off in jesus name so all these factors came in together for him and he just felt too much it was at that point he felt depressed and 
just felt like taking his own life like he just felt like wow uh, life is overwhelming for me now i'm no more, i'm no longer doing it i think it's safe to say i'm no longer doing it that's how we feel too he scaled through that period oh, thank god that's what that's how i was able to give us this masterpiece this work of art so he, he scaled through that period and he made dearest suicide yeah, that was the name of the book when death becomes the only option you know things like that like when i was talking to people about it i was like someone made a mention that the book is too graphics like the cover book was too graphic and i felt that was the message we we're trying to put out with it like something you would see and you first have resentment towards be like no i don't want that but that thing is keeps on calling me what i'm seeing i don't like it but it keeps on calling me. that was the kind of that's the narrative we wanted to project from the book i'm speaking for myself but i don't know you may have a different opinion to this i'm just speaking for myself which was like something people would listen to something the youth wanted because when in a way it just feels cool to do to be depressed to be this and what would these people want more suicide talks wow they want to be interested in and they want to give it a year even if it's half they want to give it a year and we just need half sometimes you don't need so many words to make a difference you just need simple words simple just sprinkle those simple words to talk to someone and drag someone's attention you don't need to overthink something so the book was lovely it talked about how it gives some facts that that's what i loved about the book they were facts and they were the story it was telling a story but at the same time teaching you and telling you the front and back the the covers of the rest of side so yeah talked about that it's a lovely read i'm serious i know sometimes when i'm a low low budget youtuber i'm not blue so when people like that talk it just feels like mm, they should be trying mm, but i promise you it's a lovely read and as we're transitioning to september which is suicide awareness month i feel it should be something you should read and give it to a friend of yours let them read it let them just feel try to understand how it feels to be suicidal because i feel that's what affects most of us we don't understand what happens in their mind we are like ah why would body just die like that now it's supposed to be this so that i know that it's having a problem but they don't behave like that they are just most times they, are, they just want the peace they don't get in being alive so it just it's just a lovely read i'll keep i'll put the links to the first one and the second one is dropping very soon so there will be a link that you can pre-order the second one i'll put a link to the part two it's like a series like a book then with series so that it's to you know that's so that it's to, so you read this one read this one then read this one so yeah so it's a lovely read you guys should really check it out and i just pray if you are going through anything out there i pray you find the the solace you need i pray you find the peace you need i pray you don't kill yourself or leave this world because i'm, I'm a strong believer in god is always in control i just pray i pray you find the love you need you find the happiness you need in a world filled with tears so boy continue living continue being happy hope faith and love will take you far bye